Hi everybody, it's Steve from I'm Enough Coaching. How are you going today? Well, for this week's blog, I wanted to talk to you about the five levels of logical change which was uh, thought about and uh, put into a model by a guy called Robert Diltz. And it's something that we use in coaching quite a lot to help people who identify where it is that they're stuck, what it is that's causing them anxiety, what, you know, and stopping them from achieving their desired outcomes. How, how did they become stuck where they are? So the first thing that we look at is their environment. We ask them, you know, when did you become stuck? Where did you become stuck? Is it is it something at home? Is it something at work? You know, how and when did it actually happen? Is is there something that we can change within your environment that's actually going to uh, move you forward? Or is it your behavior? Um, what are you doing at the moment? How are you behaving? What are your attitudes towards this this issue? You know, you're just saying, I can't do it, I can't do it. You know, is it is it a mindset issue? Is it a behaviour? You know, are you getting in trouble at, at work or in school because of your behaviours? You know, it could be that you've got a, a troubled teenager at home and he's kicking off and carrying on and, um, and it's, you know, down to do with their behaviours. But also, their capability, you know, do they understand? Do, have they got enough capacity um to understand what it is that you're talking about do they you know it could be that you you need to get um more education more training um more knowledge about the situation which is is stopping you from achieving it it could be that you want to go for a new job you want to change your job um and uh, you need to go and get some more education you need maybe need to go and do some training around a new job that it is you want to do or a promotion at work is an, is another good example of that um then we move on to values and beliefs now values and beliefs are uh, you know massive within coaching we seem to hold on to our values and beliefs and we say to ourselves you know that these are cast in stone and we can never get rid of them you can change your values and beliefs around things um to suit to suit whatever it is that you need to do um i'm not saying you know become shallow but uh, what i am saying is you know if your values and beliefs that you've been hanging on to for so long something that maybe your your parents have told you and you've held on to that value and belief for so long that um it's it's not serving you anymore it doesn't actually fit into the environment or the world that you're currently living in you could have held that value and belief you know for 30 odd years and um you know now the world's changed it may not be serving you so you know we we, we look at values and beliefs and how you can change those and then identity as well who you hold yourself to be you know within a, a group or a peer group you know it could be that you know you, you're a smoker um and you, you say well you know that's just who i am I'm, i smoke and that's the group that i'm part of so therefore i can't do this and i can't do that it could be that you know you perceive yourself to be overweight and you've got a, a an anxiety around your 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 body figure and you don't want to go to a gym because you'll be perceived as uh, not belonging in that environment so it's you know that could be an identity issue now by changing you know one of these you, you know, for example if you changed your behavior um it could have a knock-on effect to you, to the impact on your environment you know in a positive way yes especially as i said you know you've got a teenager at home that's um kicking off and carrying on like a prize chuck but if he was to change his behavior that would then make the domestic area a, a, a nicer place to live in so you know you can see by changing things how um it, you know we can then go on and um and change uh our 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 area where we're stuck and how we can keep moving forward so i hope this has helped you um understand how coaches go about their business but more so that you know maybe if you can identify a small area in life that you're not happy with that you want to um have a change in then having a look at one of those five areas um may enable you to to make that change straight away and to to move forward anyway hope it's been useful hope it's been informative my name's steve and i'm from i'm enough coaching i'll catch you again next week take care now bye bye